So Rosefire just sent me a new product for review. No, not this pin. <laughs> sent me the Rosefire A112 version one. And fresh out of the box, I'm looking at it going, what is this for? The A112 is a lighting and weather radar panel for your Airbus. And it looks like a full size panel. Uh, we got to figure out how is this going to go into the sim and of course Rosefire is made in China uh, distributed by RTR Hobby Shop and it's just another component to add to what we already have for our Airbus setup and if you guys have not seen our Airbus setup we're going to go ahead and go take a look at that here shortly but right off the bat the button clicks feel solid. I want to say that this is the best quality rose fire panel that I've had to date. I've had a few different rose fire panels and this has got to be the best quality one that they made. Uh, as usual, it's made out of um, metal on the base, a USB-C connector, just one. And then the top panel feels really good. Now I wonder if it's integrated lighting in this. I wonder if it's backlit. That I don't know. So we're going to have to go hook this up to the sim. Let's take a walk downstairs to the uh, sim room and go look at our sim right now. See what we have, where this is going to go, how much modification I would need to make on this thing for it to fit into my current setup. And as you guys know, here is the current setup. It's in cold and dark. There's nothing going on. Two 43 inch monitors. Uh, Rudder pedals, side stick. We're using the wing wing rudder pedals right now. I'm sorry, take that back. We're looking at the Thrustmaster TPR rudder pedals with the tiller and the side stick. And we also have a new addition, which is gonna be the ND and the PFD. We don't have an ECAM as yet. We might get one, we might not. We also have the uh, wing wing autopilot EFIS and panel, wing wing gear metal, Wing Wing FCU, um, the ECAM panel, also a throttle. And this bad boy here is gonna be the next piece to it. Oh, by the way, we also have the overhead panel from Rosefire. So this is a Rosefire overhead panel, all in cold and dark, by the way. And that's above everything else. But where does this go in the real airplane? And what kind of trouble am I gonna run into? Because right now I have my mouse pad in that section and if I'm not mistaken, I think the radio panel goes there. I think the lighting panel goes right there in the setup itself. Let me just take a measurement and see if this is a full size. Yep, this is going to be a one for one scale model of the weather and lighting panel for the airplane. Uh, it does matches up with the wing wing panels. So it will end up going here. Now this radio, um, is a radio from Wingflex. It's not meant to be here. This radio actually is meant to be desk mounted, but I mounted it here temporarily until Wing Wing comes out with their radio panel. But this, if I remember correctly, goes somewhere here. We're gonna have to pull up the Airbus cockpit and see exactly where it goes. So I have a bit of cutting to do to cut this out. Now I don't know where my mouse pad is gonna go when I'm flying in the sim. That's gonna be crazy. We'll, fi we'll figure that out. But I think the radio panel goes here. Let me get the sim fired up. Let's get the Phoenix up on the sim and see where that's gonna go and figure out how we're gonna mount that stuff. And we'll test out the Rosefire A112. So we look like we figured out where that panel is gonna go. So there is the integrated panel. We're looking at the Phoenix right now. Floodlight and integrated light panel and the multi-scan on the weather panel as we have it here on the Rosefire panel itself. And it goes right below the radio and also the radio stack and then right above where the speed brake is. And this is where we're gonna try to put it for us. It is not 100% one for one. Normally it would go right there, but as you can tell, my panel is not wider or big enough. This would be where the radio goes. So we're gonna jog it over here. We're gonna have to do some cutting and get this down in that area right uh, just above where the speed brake is. We're gonna cut this out, put it in, 
then we can fire it up for testing and see if it works with the Phoenix that we're in uh, right now. So let's go ahead and see if we can do some cutting and get this thing installed. And hopefully it will work and we'll see if it has backlighting or not. That would be disappointing if it doesn't have backlighting. Let's go take a look and see. All right, so we're done. This is how the sausage is made. We got all the panels out, <laughs> all the throttle, the speed brake handle, all that stuff. You see the framing behind it to hold it in underneath my center pedestal box. And does it fit? Let's find out. Oh, look at that. Yes, I made a lot of boo-boos here. It fit like a glove. Let me just throw this in here as well. See if that fits. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Wow. That fits beautifully, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait to get the actual radio to throw in here. Let's go ahead and put this in. That sits up there as well. Panel fits in. We just got to hook it up now, get everything back together, and get this to work. But yeah, I like how that sits. At some point, I'm going to redo this entire face off the center pedestal to make it cleaner once we get all the components and all the cutting is done and i know everywhere everything is going we're going to redo this entire just the, the the face board itself to sit everything in or maybe use frames or metal brackets i'm not sure but that's not bad that's not bad at all that's sitting in there so yeah let's go let's go hook it up and see how it works we finally have it all installed and ready to go Took some work, as you guys can tell. It's in, and it's all fully functional. I have the Phoenix fired up right here uh, with the lighting and the weather radar panel. And I have all the other things running in the background. But what I love about it is all the knobs work as it should. So right here, we have the knob for the floodlights. Can't see it in the sim, but if I turn it right there, you'll see the floodlights working. But better yet, what I like is the integral lighting. And that works. And check this out, it controls everything in the paneling from Wing Wing. Oh yeah. So if you notice all the lighting around in the CDU, in the throttle, speed brakes, all that stuff is controlled by the integral lighting. Because the airplane and Wing Wing is controlling all of that. So yeah, it's fully integrated. So now we can adjust and have that. The flood lighting usually goes right here. You might pop some lights on the here just for the heck of it, but for now, um, that is fantastic. Now, the weather radar and things like that work. As a matter of fact, it's off right now. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And if you look here, just go ahead and turn that on, and that works. And also with the, um, the radar for the predictive wind shear. And then you have the weather uh, map and all that other stuff does work by me flipping the switch down here. So it's all ran by the Mobi Flight software that's running on my other monitor over here. Um, there's gonna be a new software coming out that you don't need Mobi Flight anymore to run, but that's not readily available as yet. It's in beta connection. But the feel of the switch is very nice in the sim. You can hear the clicks, very responsive. Predictive wind shear on and off and then, but I know the lighting gets me the most exciting because it controls everything on the panel. So check the product out on their website. Uh, it is distributed by Rosefire, or you also get it from the RTR Hobby Web Shop. So the RTR Hobby Web Shop is who you can order this through, or the Rosefire. We'll have both links down below for you guys to take advantage of. But this is something good if you're building a um, full-size cockpit or a mini cockpit, as I like to call my cockpit over here, for your flight sim at home. The price of the A112 is $149, $150, both on the Rosefire website and the RTR Hobby Shop website. Check it out there if this is something that you would like to have. I can tell you that it works. It's very nice and it adds more to your home cockpit. Thank you. See you in another video.